Hello and welcome. Today we are going to deep dive into one of the most powerful tools in SQL stored procedures. We will start by creating a basic stored procedure and then we will add parameters to control what data we retrieve and finally we will show you how to implement pagination to effectively manage large set of data. What is stored procedure? A stored procedure is a collection of one or more SQL statements stored in a database, which can be executed as a single unit. Why we need stored procedure? Let's take an example. Multiple applications connected to the database. Each application would typically send SQL commands to the database. This can lead to inconsistent query logic, complexity when maintaining or updating the queries, and higher network traffic. With stored procedures, all applications simply call the stored procedure in the database. This ensures consistency across the applications and low network traffic and it makes easier to manage updates. Alright, get ready. We will start creating a stored procedure. Let's have a look of database diagram. We have four tables. Appointment table, it has a relationship with the patient's table doctor's table and also clinic's table. Now we will write a stored procedure to get appointment details. Let's create a stored procedure. Create procedure and procedure name. Here get appointment details is the name of the procedure and inside the begin and end block it is a block where we will write multiple SQL statements. Appointments table has a relationship with patient's table, doctor's table and the clinic's table. So I am using the inner join to get the patient name from the patient's table and to get a doctor name from the doctor's table and the clinic name from the clinic's table. Let's click on the execute button. This will store a store procedure inside the database. Let's execute the store procedure. All right, now it's time to add parameters to our stored procedure. Now let's view and alter the stored procedure. Here, I'm adding a parameter from date and to date in order to filter the appointments by date range. While executing the stored procedure that contains the parameters, we need to pass the value to those parameters so that we can able to get the appointments as per the date range. Similarly, we can also add multiple parameters like the patient ID, doctor ID and the clinic ID in order to get the appointments for a particular patient or to get the appointments of a doctor and also appointments belongs to the clinic. Now our stored procedure is more dynamic that I can able to get the appointments as per the date range. I can also get the appointments of a particular patient. I can also get the appointments of a particular doctor and also appointments belongs to a clinic. In SQL, pagination can be achieved through offset and fetch next. In order to perform the pagination, we need page size and the page number. Offset skips a specific number of rows for previous pages. Fetch next, it limits number of rows written for the current page. In the first scenario, page number is 1. The first 10 appointments are being retrieved without skipping any records as we are on page 1. In second case, Page number is 2. We are skipping the first 10 appointments and retrieving next set of 10 records from 11 to 20. We can also drop a stored procedure using drop statement. Drop procedure followed by procedure name. 